This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. We're selling this truck. It is a 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 four-door extra cab Laramie SLT. It is a 5.9 liter turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. Uh, the Laramie SLT is a leather uh, package. Uh, it's had 159,000 miles on a clear title. Uh, what do you need to know? Um, it has some really cool bank stuff. Um, has the uh, Ram Air induction under the hood, has the uh, Banks Monster exhaust, and it has the Banks Auto Mind uh, controller, which is under the dash. They stole that, so that's a brand new unit. We have the receipt for it. Um, and if you wanted to have gauges, all you have to do is plug direct gauges directly into that unit under the dash, and you have gauges. It's a really expensive part. Um, this thing runs like crazy. Um, it's got some cosmetic issues, which of course, you know, it's a 01, but uh, it is rare. It's on a clear title, so the insurance companies liked it a lot. Usually they salvage any, everything lately. It's very surprising. Anyway, uh, let's walk around and I'll show you what's happening. Tires all the way around look to be about 50% tread. It's got this, this type of stuff, this stuff. I mean, it's not a cosmetic beauty by any means. Um, that going on the cover. Um, if you're buying it for cosmetics, you're not going to be happy. <laughs> I mean, it's not ugly, but I mean, if you're buying it to show off the way it looks, then you're going to be unhappy. So don't do that. <laughs> if you want to buy it for... Uh, the 5.9, which we all know is unbelievable, and all the bank's goodies, and it's pulling ability, then you're going to be very, very happy. It's also pretty quick. That bank's makes it real quick. There's little door dings right here. I can see. The tailgate's a, a, just a mess. I don't know what that guy did to that. There's a big ding right here. He knew a lot about mechanics, though. Um, he put a little vacuum kit on the uh, locking hubs. Uh, the Coming out of four-wheel drive is an issue on all these trucks, and so he circumvented that with a little uh, vacuum set up inside the truck, which is really cool. Um, he probably got tired of buying that same part over and over again and figured out how to go around it. Anyway, there's your exhaust tip. has uh, thank you vets on the back of this thing. I would suggest going online and buying a louvered tailgate. Uh, better airflow, obviously a lot prettier than that mess. And they're like, you can buy them for anywhere between 160 and 300, depending on how intricate you want it to be. Anyway, there's your tow package. There's your lights right there. Let me see. <laughs> tailgate, you got a rhino liner here I mean this when tailgates look like that I tend to believe that probably didn't have it on very much it was probably on its side or something or upside down in his yard most of the time scrapes here nice little ding right here Let me show you that that's what that looks like like I said this is not your cosmetic wonder so, <laughs> know that going in. But you probably got you probably got another ten thousand miles left in the tires. Little we'll mix here and here. A couple. I don't know if you can see that in the picture or not. Being white, it's hard to see it at certain angles. But there's a couple things there. You know, my job is to point out the negatives, accentuate the negatives, so that when you get the truck, uh, you're happy and not pissed, all right? That's my job. Um, I don't, I hate those calls saying, you know, you didn't tell me this, so we go into detail. We, don't, we haven't had one of those calls in a long, long years. Um, anyway, there's all the stickers that are supposed to be here. You can see that the bolts haven't been out. Paint's still on them. So you know that hasn't happened. Got all the factory stuff for, uh, 
mods and banks. There's your uh, induction there. I wonder if you could call Santa Rosa Diesel and get more information if you wanted to um, about what they did to this truck and how they maintained it. But from a mechanical standpoint, it's really, really good. All right, let's see. Let's look at the roof real quick. Make sure there's no surprises up here. We don't like surprises more than you don't like surprises. You know what, I'm gonna get the AC going, it's hot. It is really hot. About 102 and about 50% humidity. Not good. Anyway, there's a. That's not a hole. That's something on the top of the leather there. I don't know. headliner was a disaster so we took it down and put a new headliner on it. it had just a bunch of tears and it was just ratty that little uh, door to replace that piece right there to get that door on the overhead console is like off the charts expensive we're not doing it and I don't recommend you doing it either um, we almost just filled it in with a uh, headliner but we figured somebody might want that for uh, some reason That window. Let's see if these work. That works. That works. Let's see if that one works. That mirror works. That window works. Okay. This seat had a big tear on the side of it, so my guy, uh, my upholstery guy, who's here right now, uh, filled it and put it back together. All right, obviously not perfect, but good enough. Let's see. Let's see. There's your power seat moving. Back. Let's see. Up. Down. Let's see. Okay. And there's the... Uh, lumbar. So everything works in the power seat. Obviously the wood is missing from that door panel. Um, again, you'd have to buy the whole door panel to make that right. That's not worth it. Um, let's see. Here's the passenger seat. Center console. Inside the center console. This is pretty rare for this to actually work on these things. It's kind of bizarre that it is. Um, but like I said, this whatever clicked in here is not, not there. Um, let's see if the radio works. Okay. Uh, we obviously have, we have dual heated seats. Front seats are heated. Um, what else we got going on here? We have cruise control. On and off. Let's see. And then, oh, there it is. Cruise on and off. On and off. Okay. There you go. Here's tilt wheel. That works. Let's see. We have overdrive. On and off. Off and on. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's put it. Obviously, first of all, there's 159,128 miles on it. And we better get some fuel before I make a big mistake and uh, run it out and then have to deal with that. As you diesel people know, that's a really bad idea. Um, let's see. Let's demo the uh, four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, with this is the uh, vacuum button the guy installed. Um, so he didn't have to deal with buying the part uh, all the time. So basically, throw it up into four low. All right. Now we're in four low. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot of pulling right there. That feels good. Very low. In reverse. I would say the top speed there is about two. And in reverse, it's about a half a mile an hour. Okay. And then we're going to go all the way back to, let's see, I guess we're in two-wheel drive now, right? Yep. Now we're in two-wheel drive. Oh, and then I got to go like this. Hit that. All right. Now, I'm uh, in two-wheel drive. Perfect. Apparently, those hubs don't like to unlock or it sends a check engine message or so, or check some sort of message it's like notorious for. Uh, my guys were trying to figure out what it was for, so we sent it to the diesel shop and they're like, <laughs> that's better than the normal repair. So the guy who did it knew what he was doing, which is good. Anyway, uh, we're heading towards the uh, gas station, uh, but uh, normally I go the other direction. These are our roads that are maintained with our 9.1% taxes that it looks like, if you've ever been to Mexico, um, they're a little worse than Mexico and a little better than Bolivia, um, which just goes to show that raising taxes doesn't work. Anyway, that's my political speech for the day. Um, really, really sharp truck. Really, really good running truck. I'll get out here in a second and we'll uh, let you see the turbo turbo and the whole bit. My guys, when they uh, installed that controller that was stolen, the auto mine controller, uh, said uh, it was very impressive. So I'm just going to kind of almost come to a stop and then I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That gets that uh, 7,000 pounds rolling pretty good. Um, and the shifting was absolutely perfect. So, nice truck. Uh, please take a look at it. Um, it is a 5.9 and it is a uh, 4x4 and it's got all the bank stuff on it except for gauges, which uh, it's set up for in a second. So please, uh, please bid accordingly. We know what we got here, um, but we're willing to, uh, to be fair with the pricing on it. And uh, please have a good weekend. Stay safe. Thank you.